Hi, thanks for joining me today for the Love to Dev Quick Tips. And today we're going to go over a potential issue where a website resource may not get loaded. And you're going to get a funky uh, error message if you look at the developer tools uh, when you're trying to troubleshoot it. Now, what happened is last night I got an email from a reader who said they noticed that some images on one of my uh, blog posts were not coming through and it was just being nice and letting me know so maybe I could fix the reference uh, and stuff and I was like well let's I'll look into it and I looked into it and um, the images are there and they're getting loaded for me in Edge but as we'll see in a second they weren't loading in Chrome so just to prove this to you uh, right now we're looking in Edge and I'm going to scroll up and these are the images that are not showing up uh, in his instance, or at least in the Chrome instance. And basically I'm showing some images that I grabbed off of HTTP archive showing how big websites are. Now if we go to Chrome and we look at the exact same web page, what we're going to find is those same images are not even rendered. Now in his case he was using um, a, a Chromebook and his version of Chrome actually showed um, the uh, kind of empty image uh, visual that you might recognize with a little frame around it or whatever. It kind of indicates that it's a 404 bad reference to uh, the image. So, you know, I thought, well, maybe I've got um, the URL uh, improperly written. Uh, I had been moving image assets from Azure over to AWS uh, over the last month or two, and I thought, well, maybe the images didn't get copied over for some weird reason. I just didn't know it. But as it turned out, it was neither. So as the images, as we just saw, are there. And what I found when I went and looked in the network waterfall, I can just make it images so it'll... Or actually, it's very interesting. It, wouldn't show, it doesn't show up there. So anyway, we're looking at the network waterfall. And if you notice, um, it's actually got a lot of references to those uh, different images. And this is the reason, the status. So if it's normally not found, meaning that the URL doesn't exist, you're going to see like a 404. For example, we see st the 200, which means status good. It returned the request um, as expected. But here we're seeing uh, failed and then net with some uh, colons and then uh, kind of an error code, error blocked by client. And I did some research on this, and it turns out what that means is that a Chrome extension has stopped the request. And I believe you may also see this um, using fetch in a service worker. Um, I will I will verify that, but I think I saw that uh, last month as I was kind of playing with some service worker things. Now, I don't know why um, the extension is blocking these. It looks like from doing the research, it's uh, one of the ad blocker extensions. Uh, it could also be another one called Ghostery is another one people referenced is possibly costing this. And I've got um, uh, Adblock Plus and Ghostery running in Chrome. And I verified that this is not this is this is probably the problem. I'll show you how I did that. So I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to open an incognito version of Chrome. And an, an incognito version is not going to run any ad blockers or any extensions. And this time when I load it, we scroll down and we can see that the images are there. So the problem I have right now is I don't know how to properly change the images or what criteria the ad blocker is using to choose to block these requests. Uh, I'm kind of looking into that right now. But if you run into a similar scenario where uh, an image or maybe a CSS or JavaScript file is not getting loaded, uh, it may not be the browser itself. It could be one of your extensions like Adblock Plus or something along those lines that is interrogating all the requests and filtering for you that may be causing the issue. So um, if you're not seeing a 404 and you see this uh, this error blocked by client uh, status, then I would look at the possible extensions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the names later on and see if that fixes the issue or not. So that's today's quick tip and hopefully it'll help you troubleshoot uh, some potential issues or reports that you're getting back from customers that you may not have experienced during your uh, testing and QA cycles. Thanks a lot and as always if you like the video please click like and if you have not subscribed to our Love to Dev channel 
uh, recommend that you subscribe and tell others about it. And uh, also look for our newsletter and sign up for that as well. Thanks a lot.